No big, I feel like Pac, I shoot a shot, I'm coming in No big, I feel like Pac, I shoot a shot Everybody, welcome to Premium Time with John Dar and my co-host Charlie Della Torre. How come wow, I, that I pumped you? Man. Yeah, that was like a hype man. That was hype. Yeah, that was good. You know I love you. You know I told I'm you to hype you anytime I, I, I get a chance. Why? Well, you're sweet about. It. I appreciate that. But I, <coughs> I not. This is going to sound rude of me to say this, like coming on the heels of you just being so gracious and hyping yeah. me up. But if there's one dude in the whole world who I said if I had. My choice of having anybody to hype me every morning. It'd, It'd be, be me. Craig Wilbur. Craig. That dude makes me want to like jump up and like be like, today, we're going to start the day. Come on. Yes, that like, is uh, true. That was fantastic, though, so I appreciate that. Maybe we'll get Craig Wilburn in here hyping you up. We should day. talk. I mean, uh, we, Get we, him on the show. Remember when we used to have a real estate section of yeah, the show? Maybe we can have him come <laughs> in and actually have him talk, and talk real about estate. Back. Wow, we just got yeah. some, some Zoomy thing happening on screen there. Did you mm. see that? Our producer's little... Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Craig Wilburn, if you're watching, we Is he watching? want you. Does he watch? We want you. Yeah, so. there are yeah. We could find another realtor if it's not him. Forget it. I know one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's not much for the center stage though. Johnny, I got my hair cut, dude. Did you see this? I thought you, you got that done in the green room back there. I know. Does it look that bad? It was long and shaggy. I got my hair cut too. No, it looks sharp. You got, did your daughter Looking cut it again? sharp. Courtney Dar I cuts like, my hair. I trimmed up the, the beard. I Venmo her 20 bucks. She, it's a great deal. I think you Venmo her way more than that. Also, I need some powder or something. Like I'm You are shiny. I'm shiny. Yeah. Well, mm. it's early today. A little earlier than normal. It it's is, not. Well, they don't know that. That's true. You it's just true. blew the secret. Sorry. Dang it. I'm so bad at this. No longer live. Yes. Well, so, we had a little we had a conflict this morning. We are not live. And it was not my knee. It's not like I have a doctor's right. appointment, so it's I have, can't be here. not an injury, but um, no. so here's what I want you to do. Since we're not here, Coffee. I want you to pull it up wherever you're watching it, whether you watch it on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and do me a favor and hit the like button. That's oh, it. That's easy. That's easy. Hit the like button. You can do You that. don't even need to comment. So if you comment and we don't respond live, sorry, it's not a live show today. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But today is June 15th, which is National Smile National Smile Power Day. Is that a fakey smile? <laughs> That's a fake. My face look looks really eyebrows. fat. Look at your eyebrows. I look really fat when I do that. <laughs> nature Photography Day. <laughs> do you know any nature photographers? Yeah, we had a great feature in the last issue of our time. Remember, we talked about it. We had that. What was her name? I forget her name. Well, it was a guy named Michael Eady took a bunch of pictures. Michael for Eady. Us. Yeah, he's a local photographer. He is incredible. Hey, Michael Eady, today is your day, my man. Michael gets a shout out. Today is your day, Nature great. Photography Day. So here's the positive quote of the day. If you are lucky enough to find a way of life you love, you have to find the courage Oof. to live it. Betty Davis. That's awesome quote. She's a singer? She's an actress. Oh. Betty Davis Eyes, remember the song? I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I know the that song. That was a song. Betty Davis Eyes. But remember who sang it, though? <sighs> no. Oh, the Betty Davis. Think she's a gas. She's got Blondie. Betty Davis Eyes. No, I don't think that's Blondie at all. It's, it's some woman's name. Ah. Like, although Blondie is her name, but that's not what I'm saying. I don't know. Betty Davis. Do you know Elio? You don't know. No. All he's right, we're going to do some Googling here he's in a second. Doing, he's yeah. doing so young. All right, so we got a new segment coming up, the Guaranteed Lifetime Income Story of the Week. I had a buddy of mine text me, and he said, hey, you stopped doing the Guaranteed, guaranteed Lifetime Income of the Week stories on your Facebook and LinkedIn and that kind of stuff. And I said, you know. We did. You're oh right. Oh, my God. This is, the this is the show of like what used to be. Yeah, we talked about it's real estate. The it's the show. It's been, to all, be. We've been on for so long. We're rehashing old topics. <laughs> so I said, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to do it on my show. Uh, guaranteed lifetime income story of the week. So here's the story. 
A 59-year-old saved up a million dollars. Okay. And he wanted guarantee he, that's key, him wanted guaranteed lifetime income starting at age 64. So basically, he wanted a pension and he had saved up his own money and he wanted to create his own pension and he had a million bucks to do it. Okay. How much do you think this 64-year-old at the time, so we're going to start income at 64 years old, how much guaranteed lifetime income do you think he would get if he invested a million dollars at age 59? Take a guess. Take a wild, random guess. And the answer's here, so don't cheat. No, I saw the number, but I'm going to try to answer this question honestly. I would say... <clears throat> I mean, I, I would say 5%, so $50,000. $50,000. So he would get okay. $67,587 every single year wow. for the rest of his life. No matter how long he lives? No matter how long he lives. If he lives to be 152, he's going to get 67587 every year forever. Wow. If he dies okay. before he gets the million bucks back in $67,000 payments every year, okay. he gets his beneficiary receives the difference. Oh, interesting. So if he starts getting the 67, so he dies. He dies in 10 years, he's $670,000. He gets the other 330. His beneficiary gets the other three, whatever the balance is. 330. I did the math in my head. It's pretty quick. Okay, yes, I appreciate it. It's very that. nice Thanks. for not a math guy. Thank you. So anyway, if that's if wow, that's of really, any value to any, do you have any questions about that? Oh, no. I'm, okay, well, I do. Does it have to be a million dollars cash? Like, yes. okay, or in an so IRA. It could be in an IRA? Absolutely. You could, you could turn Absolutely. your money over from an IRA? Absolutely. Yes. Without paying any weird penalties? That's the it. Correct. You could, you could, if you, you get, let's say he has a million bucks in an IRA. Yeah. And at age 59 and a half, he goes, okay, I'm, I've saved a million bucks in this IRA. Yeah. Yeah. He can move it, keep it in the IRA. Without any tax consequence. No tax consequence. Now, when he starts receiving the $67,000 a year. Well, he's got to pay income tax on that. Correct. Which he would have done anyway. Which he would have done anyway. money out of that. Exactly. Why did you say he is the key answer? Because if it's a woman, the number's different. Higher because or lower? Because it's lower. Because their life less? expect yeah. Because their life expectancy oh, she is might longer. Live longer. Yes. What if she kills? It's the not husband? much less. <laughs> does that does that matter? Uh, does she she's going to need too? other insurance. Does she, she's going to need, need that money to cover her legal expenses that I don't sell. That's so kind of cool. It is cool. Six seven thousand bucks. Anyway. Do you do you work you work with clients who do this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Anyway, so if you have any comments. Feel free. What's that called? Below. Is it called an annuity? It's an in guaranteed income. A lifetime guaranteed income Guaranteed income annuity. annuity. Yep. All right. Cool. So, bumper for Sister Hazel live music update, Ellie O. The, the people in that video are also cool. So Sister Hazel, live music update. My second favorite band, which is Whiskey Jones, <laughs> is playing June 19th, High Springs at Pink Flamingos. Saturday night. Saturday night. This Saturday night, what time? Uh, we play at 7, from 7 to 10, I believe. 7 to 10. I'm glad and you it, caught me on that one. I wasn't, I'm not sure, but know. yes, it's 7 to 10, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you show up around five. Yeah, a I, few toddies. I, I show up. Yeah, like five. Remember when we were <laughs> at in, dinner? Do you remember when we were in Good Bottom Lake? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is this is funny for you guys. We we had a uh, Brian Kramer who was on the show. Yep, our buddy. Yep. was responsible for all the sound. Yes. but he didn't like it when we helped him set up the sound. So he would get wherever we were playing exceedingly early, like so he could a half a day early. Right. So he's like, I don't want to deal with any of you losers messing up my cables <laughs> and my cords. You're gonna mess right. everything up. So I'm gonna set it up, and then you show up. Um, and then we'll go from there. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. And then I used to mock him for doing that. Yeah. Well, since that responsibility has fallen on me, I you, totally get it. Yeah. You, I'm like, don't you feel so sorry Chris for Coleman, mocking him. Don't touch that. Yeah. Or Wes, don't touch this. Yeah. And so like, I, not to throw Chris under the bus cause the dude is a workhorse and does it, whatever we need. We all do. love Chris Coleman, but he will take <laughs> shit and just be like, <laughs> he does not care. So, but he's great. Um, <laughs> we are playing Saturday night in high spring. So come on out from seven to 10. And actually 
uh, I, later, maybe not this week, because I th sent it to him late. I sent Elio a little a video of uh, of us playing Wolfstock, actually, which is a charity fundraiser that we've played the last couple of years for the uh, Humane Society of North Central Florida, which leads me, are you ready? Mm -hmm. To our very special guest who's calling in right now, Margo Decona. Are you on the air? I'm here. Hi. Yay. Hey, Margo. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. great. Welcome to the show. Did you like that segue? It was very good. That was like perfect, was right? Good, right yes. into Margo. <laughs> As you know, dude, we are very committed to the Humane Society of North Central Florida, and m my favorite person in the whole world works there in Margo. She's so committed to this group. Margo, thanks for joining the show today. Tell us a little bit about what's happening over there. Well, it's a really exciting time at the Humane Society of North Central Florida because it is the height of kitten season. And so we actually have yeah, our largest, yeah. <laughs> exactly, we have our largest free adoption event of the year going on right now, which is North Florida Pet Adoption Days. So we're partnered up with Hale's Angels Pet Rescue and Puppy Health Farm Animal Rescue to do free adoptions for all animals with the exception of puppies four months or younger. And then I think, I think you guys might know about this. We're doing, we're doing a bourbon fundraiser. What? I have yeah. my ticket. <laughs> Talk about that. I, I saw your name on the list a couple times. I think. Yeah. I yes, yes, I tried to buy two, but I couldn't. I couldn't figure it out. The credit limit on the card. Yes, that yeah, was it. Maybe I'm that was it. I didn't want. I, I didn't want to mention Ouch. that. Ouch! It said something like, hey, "Are you kidding?" Declined. Your limit is one hundred three dollars. <laughs> period, buddy. We're lucky to have that. Sorry. Go ahead, Margo. Yes. So I do well, have my ticket. We, Great. We, uh, we've got some really amazing and exclusive bourbons. I mean, we have a collection of five different pappies. Mm. So, I mean, I said the word pappy to my dad and he was like, where do I get a <laughs> So, um, <laughs> you know, we've got these really amazing bourbons that, you know, have been secured and we are selling only 1500 tickets. So you have a pretty good shot of winning, especially at this point. Um, so tickets are on sale at HS. NCF is in Humane Society, North Central Florida. So HSNCFBourbon.com. And um, you can find the tickets there. They're for a suggested donation of $100 through the end of this month. And then we're going to be doing the drawing on July 1st. Awesome. That is fun. Margo, what? Tell us a little bit about where some of that money goes. Like the, the money that this particular fundraiser or things like Wolfstock do or that we do in October <laughs> Tell us a little yeah. bit about how that money is utilized within the within the group. Well, it's a common misconception that humane societies are affiliated with groups like the Humane Society of the United States or um, the AFPCA, when actually our humane society and most humane societies are local, independent, nonprofit organizations. Mm. We don't receive funding from those national sources. So it's on us to either generate revenue through our programs like our Finuda clinic and our vaccine wellness clinic or our adoptions, um, our thrift store, for example, or we have to raise that money in the community. And so fundraisers like this bourbon fundraiser, fundraisers like Wolfstock, which is going to be November 4th this year. I you got to get that on your calendar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the fundraisers, yeah. The fundraisers like those are actually what keeps the lights on and the doors open and allow us to pull animals that are at risk of euthanasia from one of 21 different county shelters. So, you know, we travel all over North Central Florida to, you know, bring in animals to the Humane Society who, who could be at risk in a local, you know, municipal shelter. That's incredible. That is awesome. As you, I, maybe, I don't know if you know this or not, Margo, but uh, this last issue of Our Town Magazine was all about pets and animals and the things in our community. And, and we're super yep. committed to that as an organization, have been for years. We've been working with Margo and the Humane Society of North Central Florida now for a few years. Um, and this bourbon raffle, I know we've mentioned it on the podcast the last couple of weeks, um, really only runs until the, June 30th, right? Till the June end of the 30th, month. yeah. yeah. And so it's a great opportunity to, to, if you know somebody in your family or if you own a business and you want to buy a couple of tickets so you can give those bottles away as, a, as, a, as like a business a really gift nice to clients. Gift. Yeah. yeah, I mean, these are amazing opportunities. Yeah. And the money goes to such a great cause. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's just perfect timing to have Margo on the show and talk about this and with our, our pet and animal issue, of course. Margo, anything else you want to chat about? Well, I just want to say thanks for having me on. And again, remind folks that our bourbon fundraiser is going on through June 30th. Um, tickets 
are available online. You can also find the link on our website, humanesocietymcfl.org. Um, and, you know, we wish the best of luck to everyone who purchases a ticket. We have five different packages of bourbon that you can win. So, you know, odds are pretty good. Yay. Hey, if I win, oh boy, if I win, Margo, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm putting this on, this is on record right here. Oh okay. Boy. Okay. If I win, I will host a pri all right, not a private, yeah, private ish. Semi private. Fundraiser with the liquor that I won to raise even more money. Ooh. So I'm gonna take the liquor that I won and we're gonna have an event at the Humane Society or I don't know, wherever, somewhere, and it will be pay to, to come in and taste mm. some poppy Pappy? Pappy. <laughs> Poppy's like a Such flower, a dork. I think. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Happy. And all the other liquors, so we're going to raise even more money. Well, that's so super generous, John. That's great. I win. Can I can I one up you? Oh. Oh, go oh, for I it. I love it once you tops people. Go, go for, for it. it. If you win, Uh-oh. when you win, well, who knows? But if you win and you host this party, <laughs> yep. I will personally prepare Paella for all of the attendees. Whoa. That sounds awesome. I love me some paella. Paella. Yeah. Elio's in. Elio is yeah. in. He's, he's signaling. He's like, yes. The, the Latinos that, in the room are very excited Just went over this. the top for okay. some paella. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. If I, if I win, we'll do all those things. But I'm keeping that bottle at OFC for myself because I'm going to drink that. <laughs> no, you're so not. I will do all you those things. You can go to the tasting I'll party. I'll give it all back. Yeah, and you we'll can party. taste it. But I'm keeping that bottle, dude. Because that's that. That's got to That's too rare. So anyway, there you go. It's on record. It's on video. OFC marriage, right? OFC marriage, 1995. Yeah, I believe. it's it's older than my kid, dude. I'm taking that bottle. I'm keeping that bottle. Mm, and whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hey, he can have the bottle. We're just gonna drink the bourbon out of it. <laughs> Margo, thanks so much for calling in and for all that you do with the Humane Society of North Central Florida. We're looking forward to a great fundraising event. And what's that website again? One more time so people can check it out. HSNCSBourbon.com. Thanks, Margo. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. Sweet. She's so great, dude. There you go. Thanks for, for doing that. Margo was fantastic, and that group is... If I win, we are throwing one hell of a party. Dude, I kind of hope you win it now. Yeah. You got you know what, Johnny? You need more than one ticket in order to win that, so you're going to have to keep buying I might a buy another one. I'm going to go apply for a visa. You should go get a new... <laughs> speaking like, of... I'll far, spot you a hundred bucks. Speak, right. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of favorite people in the world, mm. I talked to Mitch Glazer yesterday, and he well, ah, dared stop. me... Hold on, hold on. He's one of your favorite people in the world? He dared me to say on the podcast today oh boy. that he is my favorite person in the whole wide world besides my wife. Oh, but you so, didn't have to mean it? There you go, Mitch. So you, you dared me to say it, <laughs> and I said it. He said it, but he I think he meant Fulfills you had to... Fulfills my promise. You're, I do what I say I'm going to do. Yeah, but I think he was saying that you had to also mean it. He didn't say that. He said, oh, I bet you won't see? say that I'm You're your, I'm on your the second, details. your most favorite person on the I thought the Mitch podcast. was more detail-oriented than that. That's disappointing. Well, there you go. I said it. <laughs> hey, in golf news, U.S. Open is this weekend, and Sunday is Father's Day. Yeah, it is. So I forgot about that. So we're going to have some U.S. Open, and we're going to have some Father's Day on Sunday. So happy Father's Day to you. You too, bud. Elio, happy Father's Day to you. I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day with lots of cigars oh. and bourbon. Yeah, you show at least a bourbon your ticket. Favorite. BBD. <laughs> It's We're an inside talking. secret. No, you're not. No, you're not allowed to know no. what BBD is. No, it's that's our, a personal it's our text little question. inside, and it is a liquor. You have to. You have to text personally for that information. Exactly. <laughs> Wait. So the U.S. Open is this weekend. U.S. Open is who's, this weekend. Who's front runner going in? Is there a front runner? I like uh, Xander Shoffley. Okay. I like Colin Morikawa. You made that name up. No, he won the he won the PGA <laughs> last year, not, like not this past year, but the year before. Oh, oh yeah, that guy. Um, okay, I got you. And I like one other guy, but I forgot who it was. Now the U.S. Open anyway. is widely regarded as the most difficult of all the majors, right? Yeah, I hate the USGA, and they've set it up goofy hard. It's at Torrey Pines this oh, year okay. in California. It's, it is kind of fun for the layman. It's who, not my favorite tournament. It is kind of fun to watch these guys struggle a bit, though. Yeah, I, 
I don't get that. I don't. I don't. Do you like, not? No, I don't like watching them struggle. Do you like? There's t- no skill. There's no skill in hitting out of rough this deep. It's blind ass luck. Right. I don't so know what's going on. I don't know best. what's happening in the world, but this this early morning podcast—that's two cuss words you dropped. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Excuse me. This is. Sorry. I think it's great. I so love it. So I think the you know you have the best talent in the world, and you put them in rough this deep. Yeah, that's anybody dumb. can chop it out of that rough. There, there's no. It doesn't take much talent to get it out of the rough. And ah, uh, that's a good point. I, I don't know, but I'm weird about all that. No, I mean, but I guess on the other hand, it's 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 nice to have them like par be like a good score or like I under disagree. one under par. I don't want to see him. Make you want to see Tiger go like 18 under? Yeah, I don't. Yes. I want to see him make birdies and eagles and double eagles and holes in ones and shit like that. I think that's because you get to do that. Like you actually hit birdies and eagles. Uh, yeah. I, Most I, of I us, I mean, when I we wanna, play are like, I want to see them use their skill. I got you. I mean, okay. I get it that people want to see him duff it and all that every once in a while, but you know, <laughs> I just these guys see are not tin cup it. average golfers. Yeah. Give me a ball, exactly. It's give me, give me another ball. Hey, now it's time for the tech <laughs> tip of the week, sponsored by our friends at IT Pro TV. Today's tip is titled "Keep Your Systems Up to Date." Mm. Installing updates for your operating system and programs is critical. Always install the latest security updates for your devices to stay safe. You should turn on automatic updates for your operating system so that you don't need to worry about watching for them. Consider using web browsers such as Chrome or Firefox that receive frequent automatic security updates and make sure to keep browser plugins up to date. Any questions? Good. That's, no, that's good keep advice, Keep stuff up dude. to date. This is becoming a really, obviously, he, this has been an issue for Huge. a long time, but man, <laughs> alive. It's crazy. It's like every time you turn the news on, there's some new ransomware attack that's, and some new... It's serious right stuff right serious it's yeah. not just talk thanks to our friends at it pro tv for that tip if you know someone who's looking for a career in technology or if your business needs to upskill the it team it pro tv is your resource they have nearly six thousand hours of it training that you'll enjoy watching visit itpro.tv and use code premium time to save 30 percent off your personal membership that's it pro tv with code premium time we should get Tim on the show. We should. I mean, I think we can get him on. We have enough. We, we have enough dirt on him to where if he doesn't, we could. Well, just remember, he has dirt on us. Yeah. So oh. if you, oh, I'm giving him the chance to, go to down say yes, that road, Yeah, that's probably true. We, we of all people, of all the people in the world, should probably not. That's a bad. You think I went too far on that? No, I just think it's not a good it's idea. Careful. We got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, and he also has like. Um, the technology to be able to broadcast <laughs> that information in a way that it could, would, yeah, it could be he, would, he would over. I don't even want okay, to. I don't even want to think about maybe what we he just could ask do. him if he would like to be on the show. Yeah, that'd be fun. And maybe he say yes. yes I don't really know. Fun. So talk about the our town senior times article of the week. So actually, what I wanted thanks for that. What I yeah. want to do is talk a little bit about what we do outside of the magazine. Because mm-hmm. we talk about the magazine all the time. We share stories and car- articles and contents, of course. And we've been talking at nauseum now about this being our pet and animal issue. But so much of that content we do share online. So I had some comments last week about, well, hey, I didn't see it. Or I don't get it in the mailbox. Or where can I go pick a copy up? Mm-hmm. It's always available online. So if you go to visitourtowns.com, hmm. visitourtowns.com, the digital edition of our, our magazine is always there. You can flip through it, and it's that typical sort of flip edition that you've seen you know, with other publications. Um, it's interactive, so you can click on an email or click on a phone number to call if you want to try to do that through the ads. Uh, of course, that's all there. But additionally, you can go to our social media contacts. So like on Facebook, for example, we share a lot of the stories that we, that we run. Uh, we post on a regular basis. We share, we're currently sharing our how-to expert of the day every day on Facebook. So we promise not to like overload you with four or five posts a day. We try to stick to you know maybe three or four a week. But Facebook is a great way for you to stay in touch with Our Town Magazine. If you like us, um, it's, please go to the website and like it, and then you'll be able to stay up to date with some of the stories and some of the content that's currently running in the edition. Do they search on Facebook uh, Our Town? Yep, Our Town Magazine would magazine. be great. Yep, you could just they'll find our, it. Our Town Magazine would be a, gr- a great way to do that. And of course, go to our website at visitourtowns.com. And you can kind of check and see. Also, what's nice about that is there is 
past issues. So oftentimes, if you want to go back and look for something in particular, like I know that the story ran, this happens a lot where we have clients or customers who call readers really who call and say, I read a story, I don't remember what issue it was in, it had to do with X, Y, and Z, is there a way for me to pick up a copy? Mm -hmm. They can either come by the office and do that, or they can just jump online and navigate to the issue that we find for them. I have gone online and flipped through the pages, yeah. and it's really easy. It's to, really easy, and it's user-friendly, and if you're looking at it on a yeah. tablet, I think, or a computer, it's much easier, but on a tablet, it's great because it's really intuitive to be able to like read a page and then be able like to flip to the next page, magazine. like you're reading something else, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So it's a cool, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's, I just wanna talk a little bit about Facebook, and the way you can get some of our content online. So that's Sweet. it. Sweet. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Hey, when does this show end? Because I'm my time. I don't know. What time are we? I think we're getting close-ish. Going to. I think he just cut you off. I think that triggered. <laughs> and we're done. The end. <laughs> All right. One more insurance tip. We're going to go out with an insurance tip. Between 2013 and 2020, there were $15 billion in claims were paid out to the Florida property insurance claims. Oi. 71% of that $15 billion went to lawyers. 8% went to homeowners for all their claims. Something is wrong with that what? picture. Yes. So when your homeowner's insurance goes up, blame your lawyer. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. I'm wow. just kidding. I like You know, we have friends who are lawyers. I'm right? going to blow this podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We will Over. be sued well, we by had, we had 4 o'clock today. Who are lawyers. Yes. So anyway, between 20. Is that unbelievable? I saw that I statistic the other day. 8% went to the homeowner? Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Anyway, dude. that's what's going on. So we got to fix that, and they are wow. trying to fix that. So, anyway, special thanks to Kathy's Crabs too. I saw that on there. I I, I went. That's my favorite <laughs> restaurant in Steen Hatchie, Florida. <laughs> Kathy's Crabs, Steen Hatchie, Florida. Go check them out. They have amazing seafood. Nice. Um, so shout out to my girl Mandy at Kathy's Crabs too. She takes care of us over there. All right, hey everybody, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share. Make a comment about Charlie's shiny forehead God, today. it's so shiny today. Say, hey, dude, you have the shiniest forehead in the world. I don't know what's I've going on. I need, little, you have a, I need a little And where you're on another Kara? podcast. Where's Kara? Kara Whistler. Where's Kara? Kara where where is Kara? That's right. Cap, we're going to need to have her on the podcast. Oh, hey. Um, that's going to be like after dark. Though. I hear you're on another podcast today. So I am going to be on another podcast. I'm going to be on the Celebrate Primary Care podcast yeah. as a guest for that. But them, this so. will actually be running after that. This, yeah, it'll, I'll so be wearing, little, I'm not going to do a change, so I'm wearing the same clothes. Ah, see? I might wear pants I'm going to make a comment. Yeah, that's true. We don't, really not we don't wear pants here. Why would you? <laughs> Have We're a great friends. Tuesday. Take care. Thanks for watching. <laughs>